hi guys welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by in this video i'll be showing you how to make this cute ankara ball dress for a toddler i'm using one and a quarter inches of ankara fabric a quarter inch of lining and just a small piece of the pink fabric the measurement i'm using it's a two-year-old measurement so i'm measuring the length that i'm going to be using for the bottom of the dress and i'm going to cut it into two the front piece and the back piece after which i will be gathering it if you want to make this dress make sure to take your own desired length measure the length you want and then cut it out make sure to separate the body's measurement from the full length So this is the front piece and the other one is the back piece. So next we will be cutting the bodies. I have um, a tutorial on how to draft a basic bodice pattern for kids and the measurements they are there but I always prefer to take the child's measurements before sewing because some children are bigger than some. So now I'm going to fold my fabric into two. After folding into two, I'll be folding in, into four. But I'll be leaving one each seam allowance for the zip. That will be the zip, um, the allowance for the zip at the back of the gown. So you're going to measure out the chest measurement, the bust measurement, because that's the widest part of the upper body. And make sure to leave one inch seam allowance sometimes i put two inches because children grow so fast and then you measure the length so i measured out the length and then make sure to add half inch seam allowance because that's the allowance you'll be using to add it to the bottom of the gown so next i'm measuring the armhole the armhole depth and i'll curve it out I will come out so most times I come out by one inch and I'll curve it out. <laughs> so next I'll measure the neckline, measure the depth of the neck, but I'm measuring the back neckline first. After cutting them together, I will now cut out the neckline for the front. So drop down by half an inch for your shoulder slope, and then you can cut out your bodies. So I always prefer to measure out the back depth first because most times we always go with high neck for the back and a lower neck for the front. So I always measure out the back first, cut it out. Then I will now measure, drop down with one or one and a half inch for the front and then trim out the pattern. So now I'm going to measure how deep I want the front line to be. I'm going to mark it, trace it and trim it out. So next I'm just taking this pink fabric, I will use it to trace out the neck and part of the armhole after which I will trace the pattern I, I want and I will cut it.
So next I'm just going to use the bodies to cut out the lining. So I'm measuring out the belt and I measured out 4 inches. The width of the belt is 4 inches and the length I used was 20 inches. So I'm going to cut the two belts together. The width is 4 inches but after folding it, it's going to be 2 inches. After sewing it, it's going to be one and a half inch. So I'm just going to give it a slant at the end. So now we're going to sew half inch round. I'm going to sew it round the zip line, the neckline, the shoulder, the armhole, except the bottom of the dress. I won't be sewing. Um, I won't be sewing the bottom of the dress because I'll be turning it out from the bottom. So this is one side of the back bodies. So I'm going to iron it. I'm going to sew the other part, iron it, and then sew the front. So this pink fabric is a scuba fabric and it's very stretchy. That's why I'm attaching it from the back. After pressing it on top of the Ankara, we're going to use our lining to turn the front bodies. So I, I just close the back bodies with a gather stitch then I'll place it on top of the front fabric, join the, the shoulder and then for the bodies I'll measure out um, the bodies width, mark it and then join it. When I'm done I'll open the gather stitch for the zipper line. I'm 
make sure to notch the middle of your front bodies and make sure it matches that back zipper line so now i'm going to sew the gather stitch for the bottom before sewing it i'll first of all fold the bottom fold the down of the um the gown after folding it before i'll do the gathers so i've gone ahead to do the gather stitch what you do is you start pulling the thread little by little so it doesn't cut and after pulling this dress um, thread to form the gather you go over to your machine and press it so you don't lose your gathers but they usually have a, 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 a gather footer for each machine so if your machine has that that will be better for you because it will just make the gathers for you so now i'm going to measure the length of my gathers to make sure it matches the length or um of the, the bodies that the waist measurement should match these gathers with one inch seam allowance for the zipper so before attaching the bottom to the bodies i'm going to insert the belt so now when you want to insert the belt you're going to leave half inch seam allowance that half inch seam is what you will use to attach these bodies to the bottom of the dress to the down of the dress that gathers so you must leave half inch seam So now you will mark the middle of the gathers, attach it to the middle of the bodies, pin it and then you are going to go over to your machine and sew it, sew it straight from the zipper line down to the other zipper line. So now I'm done attaching the bodies to the gathers. I'll go ahead to close this zipper line from the bottom halfway before inserting my zipper. I'm going to close it halfway. Please don't close it up to the bodies because it has to come down after the gather so that the gown you can zip it down so that it will enter the baby freely you can wear the baby from the bottom instead of up so this is the trimming i will be using and this rhinestone i will be using to embellish the up of the dress and my glue gun so i just put my glue gun on that thread line it's going to cover it and then press your trimming on top of it
please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified anytime i post a video and please share this video with family and friends i will see you in my next video thank you